Yeehaw, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Texas. Big Texas. Ah, I'm your lovely host, Galvin, and I hope you're all doing well today. We're kind of coming up on the end, you know, it's 1922. I still want to try and get the rest of the Dixie homelands from the USA, although I'm not really sure how to best go about it. I don't know. Like, realistically, it goes probably the same. Yeah, I don't know. I could just try and raise the army, but that seems kind of dangerous. Not gonna lie. Seems like it could go very badly. And I'd also really like to get out of the sphere I'm in. And I think actually I made a mistake going to Outlaw Descent here. I think I need to swing back to uh, Freedom of Speech. Hmm. I do kind of despise the fact that uh, my petite bourgeois lead the Liberal Party uh, as an authoritarian. And out of everybody, it's the intelligentsia that have formed the Fascist Party. Go to hell. <laughs> just, just everyone go to hell. I hate you all. Uh, because in order to actually escape from this lobby, I need to basically get everyone who isn't Britain and has a thing to have more influence on me, which is somewhat difficult. I kind of expected that having nationals would just over time reduce their leverage on me, but it never really did. All right, so let's maybe do a little bit of work here. Export trader, you know what I have a lot of that everyone needs? Oil. Nah, screw you. Um, the Russian market. Yeah. And honestly, off the back of that, I think I can maybe... Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Combustion engine derricks? Yeah, here we go. Let's really pump some oil. And if I'm lucky, I can pump oil hard enough that somebody like Austria or like France, so oh, I'm not exporting to the right France. This will help our cause. I don't care. Whichever France, it does not matter to me. But yeah, somebody might actually want to make a, you know, well, you need an oil export. God damn it, what happened again? I just lost 1,500 bureaucracy or something. And I don't know why that happens. You know, I'm pretty sure I didn't gain any institutions. That's That was sort of my usual suspect from before, but it seems like it does not happen like that. It throws me through a goddamn loop every time. No. Anyway, where was I? Uh, unrealized taxes, average tax waste. Yeah, I mean, Oklahoma's still pretty high at 31%. So, we might as well... Why don't slam out some new government administrations? It might be, I don't know, nationally owned building levels or something. Improved relations with the new France. Yeah, trying to find literally anyone to like get any friggin' trade agreement with is apparently impossible. Like, come on. Lots of tiny countries. Why? Why can it not be, like, anyone with a thing? God, do I need it. Oh, well. Yeah, so let's get our government admin up a bunch. We're also kind of getting wealthier 
finally, mind you. Uh, as I... Yeah, proportional taxation now actually earns me more money. The Ottomans declared us a rival. Uh, sure. Oh, I already have a rivalry with them. Fair enough, then. Hey, screw you, Java. You're not a great power leading anything. Mm-hmm. Still cautious. Why, why are you so cautious about us? Austria? Hmm. Poor Austria is also completely falling apart. Alright. Yeah, there's not really any opposition as the petite bourgeois are too busy trying to get an autocracy enacted. Alright, so let's see. How about... Do, 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 do. You at least are just hitting 20 now. Yeah, you're still cautious. A uh, communist. Eh. Just leave, that's fine. Alright. That's fine. Uh, well, let's see. On that note, Croatians mass migrating. Nice. What have we got? Any uh, any of the right type? No, not so far. Just communists. Got one anarchist all game, and he lasted five minutes when I couldn't quite get him. And use them. Alright. We have a couple more there, and that's 231,000. That's good to see. And damn, did I build things quickly. Alright. So, how can I help my people live better lives? Reduce the price of clothes. You heard him. 21 levels of textile mills. Let's go. We're gonna crash the price of clothing. That's how we get our standard of living up, baby. Number six in the world. And we're like one point away from Belgium. Which is probably good. I don't know, at some point I wouldn't mind actually picking up like antibiotics. Zeppelin would also be really great. Uh, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Still some unrealized taxes, but not that many. Not that many. All right. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Okay. Ukrainian uprising. Yeah, Austria really is just kind of falling apart, aren't they? All right, so we're only at plus 44 right now. There. All right, so now that I've got free speech, yeah, well, they just lost three. There we go. All right, this finally will let me escape their power block. Thank Lord, the Lord. We're free. We're free, everyone. We're fucking free. All right. And... Yeah, 34. Come on, just a little bit lower. Improving relations to everyone who has, like, a freaking power block. And... 29. Let's get the hell out of here. 
God, that feels better. It's like I can breathe again. Alright, and I can kind of stop improving relations with everyone now since, you know, basically problem solved. Marcel Dubois, a fascist. Transvaal nationalized buildings. Yeah, probably. Alright, speaking of nationalizing buildings. Hallelujah. Location in Texas. As building levels with non-Texan owners. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go, baby. Britain owned some absurdly large quantity of my GDP. And I'm taking it all back. Well, probably not all of it immediately, but still. Because, man, is that an expensive amount of nationalization. But that's okay. Good lord. All 20 of those. Holy shit. Twenty-nine of those. Yeah, we're really paying out the ass on these, aren't we? God damn. All right. Well, it's a start. Yeah, that's owned by no one. Fine by me, I suppose. I mean, we're doing pretty well in terms of what we've managed to nationalize. Now, I feel like the winning move here might be to, like, begin the privatization as well. Or at least try to. You know? So let's, uh, let's consider doing that. Like, at least I can kind of mass privatize. Which is helpful AF. Mm-hmm. Super important to just honestly nationalize or privatize all this. I'm buying it basically from, you know, foreign entities to sell to my local people. Which will help. Since that redirects the dividends into them and, like, keeps everything kind of local. And should actually help me build up uh, an ownership class that I am severely lacking. Mm -hmm. God, not an anarchist in sight. Deal with it. Yeah, Social Democrat Party is heading towards victory, but not a massive victory. Alright. Yeah, they've really burned through a lot. Alright. Once again, what can I do to improve your standard of living? Realistically, coffee. You know... It's remarkably difficult to get coffee, it turns out. Mm hmm. I don't really have a navy either, which kind of makes it tough to do really that. 
Uh, but... I guess I could form a power block. Mm-hmm. The Lone Star League. Led by me. Alright. So anyway, I'm going to need to import coffee. Negative 153 convoys available. Really? I mean, that's honestly good. That means things are going pretty much as well as I could hope for. Uh, do we have modern ports yet? It looks like we do. Good. Okay, so let's start there. Because, boy, do I have enough... Um, okay, yeah, I'm using that. Good. So I have no problem just building out the ports, honestly. Vultures of Monogarchus, so be it. Alright. So yeah, we'll build out a bunch of ports for, you know, actually being able to trade. And then hopefully I'll be able to import coffee. And god damn it. Institutions, yeah, just checking it's not trade routes or something. It doesn't seem to be. I have no idea where that all goes. Alright. North Carolina is the best uh, place to be building some of these, so we'll get like five. Generate more paper. Because I'd prefer the Liberal Party lose the election. Personally. Alright. So, on the note of importing loads of coffee. New Granada. Bengal. Tea from the Ching, perhaps? That should help. As those grow. Alright. Services is good, tobacco is good. I mean, I could do better with grain. The problem is, I'm not really sure I want to, you know? Then I just create hundreds of thousands of unemployed people. Yeah, the rent needs a stern limit. The Welsh are mass migrating, the Scots are mass migrating, the Anglos are leaving the British Isles, and instead the British Isles are becoming Asian. Yeah, Vietnamese, Han, Vietnamese, and... Yeah, almost Indian, pretty much. Scots are almost uh, outnumbered there as well. Hmm. The anti monarchist congress has been founded in Austria. Ah. Ah, alright, I see the communists have switched places. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, I'm really actually struggling to deal with friggin' trade. Alright. Coffee is still a problem. Which is remarkably strange. It's like, there we go. Okay. I don't know, Japanese, Spanish. Let's just keep trying to import more coffee. Ah, there we are. Price is falling. Alright. Murderers cries the crowd. The French flu. Well, that's alright. Okay, I was not looking 
How did you do that again? I guess I really should have been paying attention. That's kind of part of the problem is there isn't really any difference between when a revolution is meh versus when a revolution's an actual threat. You know? Uh, it's been sitting at 50 for a while, but, uh, ah, yeah. If I do that, then yes, it's an actual problem. All right, you demand autocracy. Okay, well, it's good to know, and it's a bit of a friggin' problem. All right, we've got unenlightened or a humanitarian. All right, you're gonna be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, part of the reason they're so angry is just my authority issues. So, I think what I actually do to fix this is revoke some of these greener grass campaigns. And that chills the entire thing out. Perfect. Now, onto that uh, handsome young fellow I saw there. Thomas Riester is his name, apparently. Yeah. Just checking around. Eh, social democrat. Hello, Thomas. I'd like to invite you to our country. Have you joined government? Grant leadership over the intelligentsia. And uh, from there, I'm going to try my hand at... Uh... Yeah, it's not too bad, honestly. Some light opposition. Not, uh, not big, though. And most of the opposition's handled with uh, enacting autocracy right now, so they won't even necessarily oppose it. So it's going to come down to a couple of uh, debates, I think. Alright, now where were we? Virginia, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Get like 15 of these. Just build out. Jesus, I'm in a ton of debt here. I take it you guys have just been buying everything and not building anything anymore, which is part of the problem. But that's okay, in some sense. It should improve the strength of the industrialists. Mm -hmm. 380 nationally owned building levels. Alright, with any... Ooh, damn, you guys actually did get a stall chance. Alright, well, with any luck, I can win the, some debates. We must take a stand against the vile lies. Alright. So, uh... I feel like something is wrong. Well, it might just be that these aren't hired yet. That's part of the trick. All right. And also, I think I actually have enough ports now. So I'm going to cease. Alright. 
for good measure, I'll like finish off Georgia, I think. Let it build those, but that's it. There. Desperate allies. Yes, make overtures to the undecided. Alright, we've got multiculturalism with pretty good chances now. Mm hmm. Alright. So, let's see. What else can I get that would improve the life of my people? Well, a crap load of grain. I think I'm gonna do it. You know? Sure, maybe it puts a bunch of people out of work, but who cares? We clearly need the grain. On the plus side, all of my resource shortages are about to come to an end when I uh, have compression ignition. And can start using the diesel pumps in the mines. Alright. So yeah, building registry. Yeah, we've got everything kind of trying to nationalize at least. So it's located in Texas, but with foreign owners. Oh, I realize I've been probably overdoing it, haven't I? Okay. Trying to specifically nationalize foreign-owned things is apparently very difficult. I don't know why. It definitely shouldn't be. Cut through some of the red tape. Financial district in Wales. Let's keep getting nationalizing. All right. And yeah, this should probably be the big, big win for me, really. Because I throw the diesel pumps up. Better yet, diesel. Yeah, you're you're fine for sure. Um, that and also development. I can do diesel trains for cheap transit. Theoretically, can also do coal-fired power. Should do that when where possible. And make sure to develop Texas soil field. Why do you not produce money anymore? Oh, because there's too many engines. And not quite enough oil. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That should help a little bit at least. But, uh, yeah, there's a crap load of engines you produce with uh, the diesel. Maybe we can also do automobiles. And that would help. Help you be a little less of a broke. Yeah. It's really just a matter of having too many engines, which is hilarious. Never happens. Yet here we are. Still, that's all right. Mm -hmm. And our GDP is continuing to soar. It's nice. Yeah, 166 million. The US is, is you know, half hours. Oh shit, they're... Theoretical army is gone. Like, they used to be prepared to raise 500. They are no longer. I think, you know what? It might just be time.
What do you got for already? Mobile and shrapnel? Well, I'm pretty sure I can finish defense in depth right now and machine guns. So, let's also get wargaming. Time to military up a bit, eh? Inventory article. Eh. They won't be discriminated against for too much longer, I hope. Alright, we won a debate. <sighs> giving us 54. Success. And we're up on them on the setbacks by one, so that's this is a good position to be in. Holy shit, we built all that corn that fucking farms that quickly. Having trouble hiring. Alright, well that's improved the price of things a little bit. Radios, still incredibly expensive. Coffee's not great. Porcelain could be better. If porcelain's a problem, how about I do this? Oh no wait, that's not the that's not the one that matters. Sorry. What if I did that? Don't even try and tell me you don't have enough porcelain. Also, at some point, yeah, okay, good. We are getting Zeppelin soon. Mm -hmm. Make sure we get all those macroeconomics and antibiotics. Yeah, let's get uh, the maximum map I can get. That'll help. As our standard of living flourishes. And we're starting to get enough oil for everyone, so that's good. That helps. Mm. Alright. Building registry. Mexicans are coming, sure. 21. Yeah, and I have to do them all. That's fine, I guess. Like, I'm slowly purging foreign ownership. It does take seemingly forever, though. I will admit. Goddamn. Just keep privatizing as much as possible. The goal, like I say, is to try and get the investor class to expand. I mean, in getting the investor class to expand, proportional taxation is quickly becoming a better, you know, form of tax. And if I continue expanding the investor class like I'm doing, it won't be too long before graduated taxation becomes better. And that's when you really know you won Victoria, is when graduated taxation gets you the most money. That I, I, I honestly consider that like the great win condition. That is, you succeeded at Victoria. Alright. I have a 50-50 chance of finally getting the new fucking Colossus. God, I can't wait. I've been waiting for that for forever. Alright, Georgia. You got it. Alright. There we are. Come one, come all. Alright. That helps. And... No. Now, like, anyone can come. So, expect mass migrations from everywhere. Alright. Which, yeah... I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. That's no, fine for now. Still 602. 
Oh, Georgia is still hiring, isn't it? Yeah, it'll take a while. It looks like the electrics plant is... Oh yeah, it's making way too much money. Let's go. We gotta... We gotta try and put a cap on that. Alright. Only minus 91k. That's, uh, that's closing pretty quick. I kind of want to keep it on proportional taxation, or not proportional, uh, per capita though. Since that, again, means my rich people have more money to buy things. Which is nice. Alright. The investor class grows. Okay. We got defense in depth. That means it's, uh, it's time, I think. Okay. I really need the ability to disband 100s. Good lord. Alright. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we'll get... Uh, Texas, Louisiana. Yep. Oklahoma, Arkansas. Check. Alright. Promote. 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 Alright. This is the first army... get a second army all right now here's the magic question do I need more than that I don't think so in time, America. I swear to God, if the Russians... The Russians getting involved is going to be a miserable state of affairs. Like, miserable enough, I actually want to chill for a moment and let, like, my building cues finish. Maybe get the machine gun. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like I'm going to need these techs if that's what Russia's going to do. Which is fair. Oh, good lord. Not the Han. The Han are coming. If I thought I had problems uh, getting everyone jobs before, it's all over now. Yeah, unfortunately, too much of my investor class kind of gotten eaten, eaten up by uh, the foreign markets. It's kind of like a double... It is now ridiculously hard to, like, continually unplug yourself uh, from a foreign market. I'm kind of waffling really badly on, like, whether or not I ever want to be part of foreign markets like Britain or, like, becoming their thing. Just because it's so painful to, like, try and unhook, you know? It's so painful. Like, I am basically doing my best to subsidize and build my investor class. And it's difficult. You know? I'm kind of getting there, but, like, good lord. It's taking so much effort. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, only 117,000 capitalists in Texas. All right. But yeah, so. Electric industry is also for sale. Everything must go. The more they own, the more their financial districts employ, the better. Alright. So yeah, now that we're not building as much, I think I'm willing to try. Oh, nice. It might require the construction of a third army, but we'll see. Select raise conscripts on both? Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Yeah, conscripts on the plus side will do well. I feel like it would be wrong of me to not just prep the third army. You know? Like, I know it's coming. There. Like, I know it's friggin' coming. I might as well embrace it. sides with the U.S. Kind of as expected. So they're just super annoying. Sway with war goals. I mean, it might not be a terrible idea, because you'll just distract them. consider it. The other one is Mexico, but Mexico hates me, so fair enough. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I feel like, I'm really debating if I want to keep going for the automatic machine gun or push for wargaming. I think I gotta go automatic machine gun. I'll wait and see, because when Destroyer finishes... In a little bit. Then whatever comes next might change a lot. Hanover, yeah, sure. Ain't. Wargaming. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering if that was going to happen. So, like, if I push this, I can get it in the same amount of time. This gets me training method streamlining, which I think is probably the most important thing to have right now, since that'll get me more troops onto the field at a fairly consistent rate. So I think that's important. And also, I want to import artillery. British market, North German market, Spanish market, I don't care. Give me artillery. Get me ammunition. Get me friggin' rifles. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of uh, arms industry here. 
I'm running national goddamn militia. I'll look into it. I know, it's looking pretty good right now, at least. So, I'm thinking I want to go a little harder. All right. Friggin' hell. Uh, okay. West Virginia. Maryland. And then is Missouri the double one? Yeah. So I can maybe go for that. Uh, the District of Columbia is also Dixie. And I think also Delaware? Yeah. Okay. Technically I can go higher, but like I said, my goal is all Dixie. Alright. Still have 97 things, and I've only spent 33 in for me, so that's fine. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, Missouri. An actual expense. And then on to Arizona. See, in Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and California. Twenty-eight. That's a little too much right now, but oh well. One hundred and two is not the end of the world, although that will piss off a lot of people. I'm going big. It'll decay fairly quickly, so it's not the end. it's not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna snake around and take the Pacific Coast. Honestly, no one's gonna try and screw me, I don't think. That'll be kinda hilarious if they do try. So you know what? I'm also gonna take Utah. I'm gonna shut them out. Maybe infamy is just a number, you know? Maybe I'm at that stage. I think I might be. Can't really get too many here. Alright. Uh, that's probably good enough, though. Alright, I was debating if I wanted to be on defense early, but it looks like we mobilized enough, so... I think that's fine. Alright, yeah, it's a little bit expensive, which isn't crazy. Oh yeah, how does my armed forces feel? Irrelevant. Got it. Uh, on that note, the strategic objective is the District of Columbia, which is apparently an unincorporated state. Um, okay, Pennsylvania is the target. My apologies. You guys should be able to break through and defeat in Florida pretty easily. Engaging the people. They are awakened. Alright. A 
Invasion of Knowledge, thanks. Yeah, it's fine. Socialist internationalism. And this is fine. Yeah, the Social Democratic Party is gonna win a landslide. And that should hopefully deal with any other problems. God. Trying to fight our way to Pennsylvania. Like, Florida is holding on. They're taking a while. But, I mean, there's... They're pretty badly outnumbered. Intelligence, you reap the reward. Alright. Yeah, socialists are taking the vote. That's a pretty nasty... state of affairs, so I'm gonna do that. Try and cap our problem. We're still maintaining pretty solid advantage, so it's really just more of a matter of time, I think. It's also possible that the U.S. Army may eventually break from the casualties. It's also possible I can get front memed. Or maybe I front meme them. That's always a fun irony. No, not quite. Failed to front meme. That's alright, though. We do have them kind of cut in half, which is still a pretty good place to be, I think. And, like, Wargaming is going to be big. You know? 10% extra army offense. And we'll get better uh, troop training, which we are certainly struggling on. Alright. This will let us do more offensives and hopefully clean up the friggin' uh, north northeast. Yeah, we got a pile of fresh troops just coming in now, so. God, our offensive is apparently garbage. I don't know why it would be. Yeah, it might just be more World War One issues than anything else. Yeah, 63 to 104. Alright. It will help if I can... Wow, that is getting even worse. Okay. Yeah, that is real bad, the amount of uh, everything I'm kind of spending right now. Alright. Yeah, the Russian army is not doing so hot. The American army is performing admirably. I'll give them that. All right. And streamline our training methods. Get 10% extra attack. That, uh, that ought to change some things up. And also this rolled machine gun, so fuck everyone else. Good lord. All right. Machine guns will be up before too long. That should help. I'm kind of annoyed that they are continuing to defend, though. Honestly, you guys should probably just swap to defense. Also, you've lost generals, so uh, we need to adjust you. Yeah. 
Also gotta do something about that again. I feel like I always do. Uh, well, whatever, I'm gonna do it the quick and dirty way. 15 there. All of the minerals are functional here. Yep. Yeah. Protests across Texas. Alright, so yeah, you guys just taking five and recovering is probably great. Still cannot seem to break here. Yeah, the armed forces just are not strong enough to, like, matter, which is super annoying. Yeah, I'm hoping, like, the improved training methods will help. At least a little bit. Alright, so how much am I really short here? 1,700 guns. And apparently that's really about it. So, like, what you're telling me is the only functioning thing I need to do right now is build an arms industry. Bolt-action rifles. And build 17 of those. And my economy should be much better. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we go on to submarines, the last T4 tech. Credit where credit's due. Credit the industrialists. Here's the thing. I have fuckloads of unemployed people. This is the thing. America's... In a not in unsimilar situation to me. Oh wow, they've actually gone on the offensive out here. Alright, to be fair... I think that's... Ooh, wow, you had heavy barrage. Let's do a very slow, methodical attack. Like, if it's just you, because you're an experienced defensive planner and an artillery commander. Okay, and Russia just withdrew. Thank fuck. Alright. Why do you only have 39? Like, functionally, how do you have 39? Minus 25% from poor visibility, I guess. I mean, that's a little better, but... Still obviously not good enough. Well, I guess you guys are good to just advance. Yeah, the U.S. is kind of going on an all-out offensive over here. I think I'm going to swap you to defense. Like, you guys are pretty clear. Oh, shit, though, that's a problem. Alright. Great news, everyone. Machine guns! Shouldn't I be getting the Devil's Paintbrush right about now? It's always a fun event. Eh. 
Well, either way. Let's pile uh, extra defense. And it looks like I'm actually going to get out of here first. Maybe. So go complete the occupation. Yeah, this looks like it should be pretty quick. God, I'm losing 1.44 million. How are you faring, America, economically? Apparently very well. That's terrifying that you can somehow support that. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, that has changed a lot since the last time I looked. So I'm going to assume there's nobody I can import ammo from yet. Ah, yes. I do love that it repeatedly just splits fronts like this, and literally I'm getting memed by that. Alright. And then this quickly falls. Okay. So, how much more is this? 250k. It'll do. Yeah, you're on your way up there. That's fine. You're generally pretty close to fully powered now. With any luck, you can actually break through. Begin your advance, and yeah, we have uh, streamlined training, so we're, I'm hopeful that will help. A peace deal proposed. White peace. No, I occupy far too much of your country for that. Although, functionally, I am very much incapable right now. So. Like, I'll size this down a fair bit. But, like, you're also in trouble, America. I can likely, to some extent, budget my way out of this situation that I'm in. Unfortunately, I'm running out of runway to do so. And America is apparently not even breaking their bank at all. And also, apparently, I still can't break through. Which is at least somewhat haphazard and terrifying. Alright. I'm obviously out of time for fixing this, so... That army is dissolved. Officially. That one operates at half capacity. All remaining decrees are recalled. God damn it. To make way for any and all consumption taxes I can raise. That does a lot for me, actually. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think uh, maybe we defend. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah, not great. Mm -hmm. But like, so much of the US is under occupation. They just refuse to give up. To be fair, I think the entire US economic sector is over here, so it's not really that big of a thing, but okay, I see people attacking still. And I think that's you, Chucklefucks, so because you can probably borrow troops to attack, so stop that. Pretty obvious we're not winning there. So, let's talk about these guys. Half and half. Yeah, make sure the conscripts stay raised. So I'm going to split these guys. Because eventually this front's going to start to split, so I'm going to need to make sure we actually are all right. Yeah, they have pretty much no manpower out here. And our army is seemingly capable of at least defending here for now. So it looks like the US army is very struggling in terms of manpower. So now might be the right time to attack. Well, that's tough to say. They're going all out on me. Just over the top repeatedly. All right, well, the main point now is we just got to clean up up here. Then we bring in more troops over here. I mean, a bitter irony is they will run out of peasants eventually if it comes to it. I've got six more years to do this, America. Do you, can you say the same? I mean, yeah, you I guess technically also do, but are you going to last the six years? Because I swear to God, I am going to get everything I fucking need to kick your ass in the next fucking five minutes. Let's go. All right, we are having a slight problem with not getting enough hardwood. So let's go focus hardwood production here. There we are, no, no good shortage. All right, that's good. Looking like I still can't really break through. Which is disappointing to say the least. God. I mean, we'll get through up here eventually and then hopefully be able to refocus my efforts. Radical Canada. Fair enough. Alright. 
Millions are already dead in the, you know, great American v. Texas conflict. And millions more have yet to die. I really did not expect America to put up this much of a fight. I don't know, would the extra morale recovery rate really help? Oh shit, you're only on. Well, that'll help. Yeah, you guys need to recover manpower. Good lord, yeah, that uh, that's real expensive to maintain, though. I guess that's part of why I don't. Or wasn't, anyway. 52, yeah, no, nothing. Alright. We're sweeping up here pretty nicely. Didn't uh, end up front splitting at all, even. All right. Good lord. They are for assassins. I really could use proportional taxation right about now. Yeah, plus 196k. Alright. Why are we struggling to break through in Michigan? Come on. Yeah, you guys have everything. Can I get rid of these without... Yeah, morale reduced by 50%. Alright, never mind then. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of troops here. I mean, in general, as, like, devastation climbs in the U.S., their economy and everything should still eventually fall apart. Christ, I hope it does, anyway. No, they're still, like, maxed out on gold reserves. The U.S. may not have actually been spending money for a while, and I might have a lot to burn through. Alright. Guess I should have tried to take the fucking Great Plains, huh? Alright. Extra taxes coming in. Every little bit helps. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah, now we're sending in everyone to raid Michigan. Perfect. Got a pile of fresh troops coming in. And this should also merge the fronts when they win here. Giving me another 200,000 fresh troops. Oil is the future. Yep. Yeah. All right, they've gone all out. And now I've got a whole whack load of troops. Let's go. I now have 800,000, so. No rest. Just keep those attacks coming. 
Alright. I think we might finally break through. God, what a mess this has been. I certainly bungled this military operation, but at the end of the day, we still win. Yeah. Their capacity to refill a lot of their troop piles is also very limited now. So. God. Yeah, they're up. Uh, Population is just crumbling due to the devastation. Alright, looks like we're actually going to push Ohio. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, your population is now decreasing. Is mine dent even, like, showing a dent? No. <laughs> I love my country. All right. Yeah, I, my, my population really does not give a single fuck. Like I said, I do have the capacity to actually do this. It's like the worst capacity imaginable. Given I am basically just throwing men at the problem. But it is a capacity. And I'm about to start throwing chemical weapons at the problem really not what you want to do. But here we are. Alright, looks like we finally got Ohio secured. Well, that's something. Yeah, we still got a lot to actually conquer, huh? I mean, we'll get there someday. God, will we get there someday. Devastation 100, yeah. Alright. Like, we're just trashing the U.S. countryside at this point. Where, at this point, even if somehow we lost, we've won. Yeah. They lose 1.37 million a year. Holy shit. Good lord. Yeah, the U.S. just has so many troops. Yeah, I think chemical weapons should be the last thing I really need. Alright. I don't really care about your morale. That'll recover in time. But I am looking for ways to save money right now. So, we're cutting the luxury rations. On that note, I'm also going to switch everyone to defense. There. Morale will take some time to heal. And honestly, I don't think I'm getting too much more progress until I uh, get chemicals involved. So, I mean, I'll be pleasantly surprised if that's true, but. All right, you guys are looking at 83%, fair enough. They still only want a white piece. 
Your country is on fire. Everyone in your countryside is dying. <laughs> like, your pop growth is negative 3% before war casualties are counted. Yeah. You've thrown away two million. Mm -hmm. Oh good, plastic production is completed. Plastic is the future. Alright, sure. Uh, protectionism is a good compromise. Fire him. Crack down on the fascist party. Alright. Uh move you guys over. Or move you specifically over. Alright. We actually have somebody who can do attacks now, thank god. Specifically with Heavy Barrage. Because that's such a good way to attack. Americans are about to launch an attack, I saw. And right, we also launched an attack. That's good. That's what I like to see. I don't like aggressive maneuver. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's... It's time to really break out the heavy shit. We're just going to start gassing, motherfuckers. It, it has to happen. God, this episode's been an hour and a half long, but I refuse. This is the finale. This is my grand finale, everyone. Victory or death. Organization took a bit of a hit, but that's okay. That is going to continually get to get better. And I think as long as I've got my one good guy attacking, I think that's us actually attacking. Yeah, it is. Sometimes it weird does some weird visual bug. There we are. Yeah, slow and steady now. And uh, that's okay. We are laying the U.S. to waste. They will not recover from this. Yeah, I was wondering if I was going to need flamethrowers. It turns out I didn't. Good news, though. Terrifying news is that I'm about to get NCOs. Nice and slow now. I don't want any funny business, you know? Ah, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. In general, I know the US is going to run out of, like, conscripts, too. Like, they just don't have... The ability to get any more in a lot of states they're they're finished you know there's only so many people you can conscript and i think it's a double whammy because they're probably gonna keep pulling those conscripts even though they can't 
But what that should do is really start to hurt their GDP. Which is doing remarkably well, all things considered. Yeah. Cruel? Good. Right now, I promote you, Field Marshal. You're the commander. Win this war for me. But like... Yeah. Every battle, we're now winning. We're over we're over the hump. Alright. That's another state taken. I don't know, I assume they've got like lots of conscripts coming from out here, right? Somewhere. Yeah. They're running out of peasants. Alright. Just keep blowing them to smithereens. A nice slow and steady heavy barrage. Soon, Pennsylvania will fall. And oh boy, when it does. Like, this is the capital. It's technically all I need to occupy to win. And I've just started the occupation process. And although it's still slow and steady... I'm not going to try and blitz my way through. They have... Fuck, how are you guys at full? Yeah, you'd, like, their GDP hasn't really gone down. Despite the loss of population. And this is kind of the thing. At some point, you know, I've got to start taking their useful pops and killing them on the battlefield. That's kind of why I pay attention to their peasant numbers. Right? Because it's the loss of peasants that will really get them eventually. Well, we're not the loss of peasants, but like, you know. Once they've lost peasants, then they're just pulling in work, pulling workers out. And that over time weakens their economy. All right, we got macroeconomics, baby. I right, get another company. Good. Hey, where's that one that gives me 5% army offense? I could use that right about now. My stems and military goods cost? You know what? Fuck it, I'll take that. All right. Good. Charted terrain. 15% kill rate. Mm -hmm. Alright, another couple hundred thousand dead. Yeah. They still want white peace. Uh, let's see. Press relative military. South American gold reserves. Okay, America's finally starting to uh, lose money. We've burned through all of their remaining cash, I think. Or I've just killed so many people they don't have to spend too much anymore. I don't know. Because that doesn't look very good for them. I've got to say. Alright, technically I can get NCOs. You know what? Sure. Try and upgrade whatever infantry we can to squad infantry. Is it over? It's over. It's, it's finally over, everyone. It's, 
It's over. <laughs> oh, Lord. Glory to Texas. We have reclaimed all the Dixie homelands. The North just lost a quarter of their GDP, another giant chunk of their population, and, I mean, honestly, even mine's probably decreasing since everything I own now is fucked. But who cares? I just won. America eats some fucking dirt. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, boy. Yeah, so much land is just trashed. What a fucking mess. And I think that's where I'm going to call it. An hour and a half long episode to capstone this series. God, that was a fucking mess. Why are you purple Spain? Because you're a parliamentary republic. Got it. So you get the republican flag. Fair enough. Austria, congratulations on still being communist. You're still a fucking mess. And you're still divided up so badly. Shame you couldn't form Germany proper. Hanover got annexed by the U.S. at some point. Mm. Goddamn. And Britain has now managed to annex, like, half of China, which is kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. The AI this patch has been fucking a little bonkers. It's pretty cool. But man, do they maybe need to... Maybe need to redirect it a little bit. Oh, well. We, uh, we did conquer... Yeah, we're sec our GDP is now second only to Britain's, and they cheat by having China. And also, a lot of my economy is still unbuilt and ironically owned by Britain. So, well, we would definitely be able to, over to overtake them in time. Number five in the world for population. Yeah, that looks about right. You know, China, China, India, and Russia are the four people ahead of us. Yeah, two Chinas. And I guess also kind of Indochina, I should call them, given that they own so much of India, too. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And it's kind of just hilarious with uh, the whole culture overview. Yeah. Khmer. Mm hmm. Yeah, the English have almost been overrun there by the Min. Almost been overrun here by the Hakka and the Pashtun. I mean, the London area is still mostly English. So that's nice. But yeah. In the meantime, we actually managed to do pretty well at assimilating everyone. I don't think Texas managed to get to its modern day population, but... Um, yeah, only 18 million. To be fair, it was it was tough. Oh, well. It's kind of doubly funny. Yeah, they only have like 1.5 million GDP here. All of their GDP output, I think, is just here. Yeah, 13 million, 8%. 10%. percent 8%, yeah. All right. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching this uh, delightful series. I've been your Leo Scalvin, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.